Hello, my name is Doc, and I'm going to show you guys how to use my puppet script to actually transfer animations in Team Vor in uh, SFM. So, for instance, we're going to be transferring an animation from the engineer over to Rochelle over here to actually give the poor girl a little bit of personality. Poor Rochelle. I really think that she could have been a great character if she's given half the chance. Anyways, uh, let me... I've already set up uh, most of it right now, so uh, I'm going to name the engineer Bob1. In case you don't uh, know, I'll just show you guys right now. The puppet script doesn't name any... If I have this named Bob2, and she's named Bob Bobby1, then she will not get rigged as the script doesn't see anything else. And so her up again. And I'm gonna rename you So we have Engineer Bob 1 here, and Rochelle is Bobby 1. So we're going to rig Puppet Script Delta, and they're connected. Yay! They are connected! Anyways, um, let's import a sequence for the engineer. Taunts. Let's do a simple taunt. That's a good one. The laughing taunt. Well, not all animations transfer over completely 100%, but this will do. So, we have Rochelle. And we want to keep Rochelle, but delete ba uh, Engineer, so that we can keep, but keep Rochelle's animation. Well, recently I figured out how to do that com correctly. So we're going to unhide Rochelle. Then we're going to right-click Constraints. Select a unit of time. Make sure you select a unit of time between. Uh, Ten seconds is generally a safe point for my computer. You can experiment around for yours, but you know you're probably going to mess something up. So don't be angry at me if you mess something up. So rig uh, main constraint, big constraints, and now she'll now. SFM will do its drama queen thing. I'm talking about how hard this is, and considering that this is hundreds of thousands of bones that are being baked onto a model, the motions being moved onto a model, yeah, it is kind of a big deal. So now we have Rochelle with the deal. So if I go back down to constraints and remove constraints, then I can take Bob and delete him, and Rochelle will still have the animation. And not only that, we can adjust her pelvis movement now and anything else. So, this is a simple tutorial on how to do it. I'm going to have a link to my latest puppet script in the description. I'm also going to, as a surprise, link you guys to 
the latest script I've been working on, which is here. Where is it? Here it is. Give me a second. It's a very interesting script because what it does, if it would show me, all oh right. is that it rigs fingers and I can IK fingers in SFM. It's kind of complicated with the deal, but yeah, we can IK fingers now. So, I'm going to include these two scripts in my description, and I'm going to uh, include the vi video and stuff like that. Uh, I hope y'all have a great time. I hope you guys play around with my scripts a little bit more. If you find out any interesting or unique ways of doing it, please tell me. If you find anything uh, interesting, Otherwise, you know, just tell me, and uh, y'all have a nice night.